So, first thing we have to do, packing the thermal packs, is to prepare the box. And the box I have bought today is a brand new box, heavy duty, 20, let's see it's this way, upside down, 20 by 20 by 20. But you can have a bigger box as long as it's bigger than 20 by 20 by 20. Um, the last measurement is the height and that has to be more than oh, 12 inches. And since my box isn't 12 inches, I'm going to show you how to cut it down uh, so it, the end result is going to be 20 by 20 by 12 or 13. And uh, what I use to do that with is this piece of foam. Uh, this piece of foam here is going to be my guide. And it is about 12 or 13 inches um, wide. And I'm going to lay that inside the box and score the box so that the height of the box is going to be around 12 or 13 inches high so let's let's start out here okay so first thing I'm going to do is open up the box and tape the bottom alright I'm going to lay the camera down here so you can picture part of it This is a thick wall, <coughs> heavy duty or a thick wall box. All right, so. Now, well, I forgot something here. Along the edges, right here, I'm going to put some tape there too to make the box as strong as I can and to keep it square while it's being delivered. So, what you do is do that. Leave some hanging over and then fold it over. Do the other side. Fold it over. Tape it. Alright, so there. That's what done there. So now what I'm gonna do is take this piece of foam and lay it down like that. See that? I'm gonna take my take my knife. The lighting's not very good. I'm gonna take my knife. Oh, let me turn the light off. Take it in the kitchen, the lighting's better. So you can see how that's standing up in the bottom there. I'm gonna take my knife and run it right along here. I'm going to score it, which means I'm not going to cut it all the way through. So I'm not doing anything, I'm just showing you what I'll do. So let me show you how that works. So I'm going to start over here in the corner and press my knife in. Go right through. that and then in the very corner I'm going to take my knife and wherever it, I scored it punch it through and then run it up run it up like like that so and then we'll do it on this corner too and then I'm going to lay this here again on the next side and screw this side 
run the knife up. And so then I can fold it over and the end result will be cheaper to ship because it'll only be 12, 12 inches high. So that's how you cut the box down. And so when I, so if, if I was to cut right here and where I fold it on the side, when I fold it over, it'll fold it over really easy right at that line. That 12 inch line. See that? So that's, that's how you cut the box down. All right. Thank you. All right, today I'm going to show you how to pack a thermal fax. First thing you need is a heavy duty box. And uh, I'm going to tape the bottom real good. This is a heavy duty box. Um, the size is 20 by 20 by 20. But I have to cut it down. The end result is going to be like a 20 by 20 by 12 or 13 at the end. First thing I do is I fill the bottom with about 3 or 4 inches of um, popcorn or some kind of foam packing. And then I also <clears throat> wrap the machine in a trash bag. Tape uh, the end so that none of the popcorn gets inside the machine. So the next thing I'm going to do <clears throat> is stick the machine, no, the next thing I'm going to do is cut, I'm going to make some braces and uh, I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. So what you do is uh, you cut one of the scrap pieces that you're not going to be using, like this end right here. This is what I'm going to make the brace out of. So I'm going to lay it here on the table. I'm going to cut it in half. So here we go. Then I'm going to score it right down the middle, which means I'm not going to cut it all the way through. I'm just going to cut it so I can bend it. So there's one brace for one side. I'll do the next one. And this is going to fit exactly inside the inside the box because it's the same size 20 inches watt long so there's the other side now I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the machine lay it on the table here and this is how it's going to work I'm going to put this brace like that so that it has uh, a barrier so that nothing can get a hole um, get into the, uh, the front of the machine the plastic this is the most important part right here is the plastic and that usually gets broken in shipping so I'm going to lay that brace on there and I'm going to tape it I'm going to lay the other one on the other side and tape it so, I don't have a camera stand, so I'm going to stop right now, and then uh, when I'm done, I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so this is what it looks like after I put the braces on. I got these protruding about the same distance this way on the front. 
and then the back is about two inches on the back. So now I'm going to lay the machine. I'm going to put some uh, bubble wrap on top of the, the foam or the uh, peanuts. There's that. A little bit more. Alright, so then I'm gonna lay the machine on top of on top of this. Alright, so that's what it looks like when it's in the box, completely. And now I'm gonna I'm gonna drizzle foam uh, in the cracks, and then I'm gonna put another small piece of uh, bubble wrap on top of that. So that's what it looks like after I put the foam and a section of uh, bubble. Now I'm going to pull the box over. That. going to tape it. That's it. Alright, so this this is what it looks like when it's completely done. I've, cut, I've taped the uh, edges, the top, and there's some cheap tape so it doesn't work very well. Tape the same way in the bottom, tape the edges, tape this whole length there, and uh, Ready to go. Now I just have to weigh it, put in the measurements, and ship it FedEx ground, which I found uh, to be the best to be the best shipper for for these machines since they're so fragile. All right. Well, this is Dave, the Thermal Packs guy.
614-580-9676. I do all, I repair all kinds of machines, thermal fax, uh, thermal copier, uh, 3M machines, I do the uh, Eclipse, I do the Vistafax, all the tattoo uh, stencil makers. Give me a call. Dave the Thermofax guy. I'm in Ohio. Columbus. Give me a call.